In yesterday's video, I asked if you all would like us to do a walkthrough on how to complete the Inferno dungeon within five minutes. And a lot of people said they wanted to see it. A couple of things I should point out is that when we do the walkthrough, it is going to be on power level 88, just to make it a little bit easier. But towards the end of the video, I'm actually going to show one of our five minute runs, and that's in a power level 140 zone. And for those who haven't played dungeons, you'll have to locate a total of two keys for every level. You can obtain one of the keys by destroying the monoliths, and at most you'll have to destroy up to three, and they usually spawn in the same areas. And the other key will be located in the same areas in every level, but you will have to go find it. And once you've located those two keys, you'll then be able to move on to the next area. And you'll have to do that for a total of four areas. And once you found the two keys in the fourth area, you'll then have to fight the boss. I also wanted to show a few different loadouts you can use. The one I'm going to be using in this gameplay is Diecast Jonesy as my commander with the Happy Holidays team perk. And the reason I chose him is because he has the minigun, which is the best ability when it comes to destroying monoliths. Going Constructor and Lefty and Righty are also good abilities. I also recommend Happy Holidays because that reduces the cooldown for your minigun so you can destroy more monoliths quickly. And for our support team, we have Rex Jonesy, Prehistoric Isa, Sub Commander Jonesy, Fleetfoot Ken, and Ted. You could also use Sub Commando Jonesy as your commander. And if you use him, you'll have the Shockwave, which can also increase your speed if you put Archetype Havoc in your support team. And that can also help you complete it quicker. And this one doesn't really help with the speed run, but it is pretty useful when it comes to surviving. And it's a pretty fun loadout, but not the best loadout when it comes to doing speed runs. Carbides, lefty and righty is really useful when it comes to destroying urns, which can also help you earn extra tickets. You should be able to get the urns really easy after using his lefty and righty a couple of times. So you may want to have somebody in your lobby using carbide in order to help you get some extra tickets. And if you're playing in the full lobby, you may want to have somebody run into the next door while the other three people stay behind and get the keys. And you're going to want that person to be quick so you could use recon scout jess and here are some heroes you can put in your support team but again the main thing you want to do is make sure you have a few heroes that are using the minigun anyways i'm going to go ahead and let isher explain to us the strategy he used to do speed runs on inferno and big shout out to isher for showing us his secrets and shortcuts i'll leave a link to his twitch in the description be sure to go check it out stop by and show him some love but yeah, we're going to have Isher explain to us the strategy he used. And after we do the walkthrough, I'll show our power level 140 Inferno dungeon run that was under five minutes. Anyways, here's the Inferno dungeon walkthrough. Uh, actually, like, follow me. Like, uh, I'll, I'll show you, like, I'll show the method of uh, what you would do on a power level 100 if you're soloing this. Uh, doing that, by the way, is really handy because then you learn where all the keys are. Because the keys will be on the map. Just so you know. So what happens is, uh, you usually shockwave early back there, but you want to shockwave right before your chain gun, so watch. Will not fail. You can. And I believe them. I'm not full of bubbling molten rocks for my health. By shockwaving before I chain gun, I now have better movement, so I can close the gap between all of these different, uh, between all these different monoliths and get them all done with one chain. One, if you're solo by yourself, uh, it's really important that you go to this, uh, instead of going to the front door, there's this hole. But you can drop in right here. This is just always. This is all. This is always just. But if you're on door duty, you can always just. Stay tender. All right, I'm coming. I'm just. I was just trying to replicate that so I can remember. All right. So when you come in through here. Meet me at the door when you're ready to descend Shockwave, of course, for movement speed if you got it. So this is. Uh, this room. Let me talk about this. Sometimes there's a teleporter right here. That can be good, but you have to destroy this staircase for that teleporter to work. But watch, uh, watch, watch the movement that I do right here. Oh, oh my bad. Hold on. Uh, A1, hold on. Oh, yeah, you got the idea, actually. A1's doing a good, uh, a good job. So basically yeah, you what, you, wanna... what you want to do is, yeah. Uh, you see how that can be a, a floor trap right there? If you're solo, you can do something like Stay tender. That's one key down. Now one step closer to throwing yourself and that will take out all three monoliths if three monoliths spawn there you're not guaranteed to three now okay so there's a teleporter there can be a teleporter right here if there's a teleporter where that troll is that you got stuck it's usually good it's worth taking the risk but if it takes you to a bad spot it'll take you I'll show you where I'll take you at the dungeon entrance it'll take you inside of this room and you just got a, a Lock yourself out of this room right here if you get teleported into a, a little room. But usually it'll be good. Alright. 
luck out there. I'm sorry, this doesn't feel like this right. teleporter? Is that a good one? Welcome to your fiery pit of doom. So yeah, usually with it's a teleporter, don't tell like cover up a teleporter. Yes, no that can that can be flame, good. You have already explored the area. So if you get uh are we walking on this one? Uh, yeah, once you cover it, 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 it once it once you cover it, it won't so work for a while, or it won't work at all. So if you build over it, you have to be careful not to build over teleporters if you don't if you don't need to. The last keys Sometimes you get teleported into this room. Um, well, I'll let you guys catch up. Oh me. wow! So sometimes you'll get teleported into this room, and then like just look for the downhill as a general rule. So if like if you get teleported in here, just look for low, jump down. Like I I don't even like walk around this slope when I come through this hallway. I just uh, jump over this balcony right here. Guys, my um my game crashed. Oh no! Uh, I'll run through uh, this with A1. Right. So uh, there's three different uh, key locations that you can get uh, get in here. We've got one that we can just run through like so. It has hung. We got one of those shield drainers. Let us know what you think. What a pity. The last key has been found. Let's get this over with already. Go downstairs. Visit a cursed statue to revive down. You keep an eye out for this tile. This can be a teleporter, but it's not. So watch the movement that I do on this one. Oh, we've got a teleporter. So right here, uh, we would jump on it. We, we clear out both monoliths since it's a two for one. As soon as we clear them, we go in. Okay. Uh, sometimes it usually won't let you teleport through, but when you uh, just wait for it to reset, and it should let you teleport in like thirty seconds. All right. That was like ten seconds. So when you're in here, it's just this way. This is a very common room to get teleported into. If you ever teleport upstairs, just drop right down, like right away. All right. Um, so here is another important one. This wall right here is a big, uh, is a big uh, shortcut. So, okay. I'm gonna try to take out an extra monolith. Sometimes there can be a monolith right there, so you can use your chain gun to knock down the door and then walk all the way up to the. All right, I'm just gonna make sure I remember Such where this was at. I just want to memorize it. Yeah, it's one of those doors that do look like uh, they're kind of rubblish, so it helps out. Oh, another. Uh, hold on. Let me. Uh, Descend Let me show one other fire. thing. Uh, come back, come back my way a little bit. Let's Sometimes, if you get really unlucky, you'll only have one monolith when you get to this shortcut, there. and you're going to want to check this area over here. Um, there can be, uh, like, there you might click clear a monolith right here. It's a very small shortcut, mm -hmm. but just so you know about it, right through here and through here, this is something you'll probably not use. But just so it's in the, the old memory banks, there's that. Okay. When you're running, it's all very important to see that up that tile right there. Yep. It's not always going to break red. That one's always a bad one. Okay. You're going to want to go up the staircase to the left. Yep. And this is the method that you want to be careful with. Watch. Oh, don't. You can zigzag like this. This is the safest. So. And then put the, the stairs. Yep. Okay. The reason why I did that snake pattern is if a smasher spawns on the same level, they can charge unless you snake it. But if you snake it, they have to walk on that snake path and they won't be able to charge you. Okay. Descend. There's three potential good teleporters in this room, and I'll walk over to where like each of them can be. Okay. But if we get two monoliths, we definitely gonna take we're definitely gonna take it out, so. Maybe one second. There's going to be one where that. See where those air traps are right over there. Air traps. That can be a good teleporter, okay. but that's air traps. Yep. So then we can check over here. This is a floor trap, so that's. A secret door. And then one more potential teleporter in this room, and that's in this back left corner. That's air traps. Yeah. Now that those are good, you go in here, and there's a couple again anywhere on this third floor. If you see a teleporter early, like right here, it'll be good. 
If you see a teleporter here, that's good. But just in case we don't get any teleporters, the shortcut here is... And this is a really big shortcut right here. Okay. So if we don't get teleporters, we take this route. Don't go on the If we bridge. do get a teleporter, go ahead and jump through that teleporter and I'll meet you on the other side. Alright. So yeah, if you get teleported right here, just you drop through here, and then 180 right away. Like so. <clears throat> when we come into this lava room, you'll see me go to the left-hand side. That's usually just to clear out a mob. Yep. There's two of them. So yeah, if you don't get too early on, then it, this is a generally a good place to get to. It. Keys around here now, somewhere. this is this is kind of the room a lot of people get. One less. So when you're here, it's very simple. West. So left, get the mo uh, monolith, and then right to go towards. Uh, you want to see one last trick? Yep. It's uh, it's tough to do on 140s, but it's called lava. What a pity. The last key is I don't take damage power. if I time it right. Oh. I see. Let's if if, if you if you miss time it on 140s, you get two hit. So it's very risky on 140, but if you're solo it's worth doing. I got you. It's a good tip. But not really worth risking unless you're out of maps. But yeah, it's just with that lava, just follow the lava path. Like just just build right above the lava, and I'll basically take you to the store. All right. Descend to the next then we're at the That's kind of it. Yeah. So the main thing is like when you go through teleporters, it's always a little bit disorienting, but it's a stupid. Who fell into a pool of lava. All right, well, thanks for the the walkthrough, man. That was really useful. And then he had a couple of hard no problem. Years. Hopefully, I can memorize. It was a lot to take in. Oh crap! So I'm command this bit by I might not be able to handle all three monoliths. Take the right hand one out. Meet me at the door when you're ready to descend into endless pits of fire and despair. All right. Catch you later. I'm on Stay door tender. duty on this first part. You're back. Just so you know, this time the way do we get the key? Fall into yep, a pit got of lava. <clears throat> My monsters have assured me they will not fail. I and forgot I to switch them. loadouts, but that's gonna be alright. I'm full of bubbling molten rocks for my health, you know. I'm full of bubbling molten rock because I must. Yeah, I just keep running all the way, one. Anyway, come on in. Well, then again, right there. but then again, being in the front, it's pretty good too because. Go take a walk around the grounds. Find some keys. Meet me at the door when you're ready to descend into endless. Dude, I could only get two of them. Got one. Good. All right. Catch you later. Stay tender. How the hell do I get out of here? So why not go take a walk around the grounds? Once we get that one, uh, no. Meet me at the door when you're ready to descend into endless pits of there fire and despair. All right, catch you later. Stay tender. There was over this way. Huh? That's one key oh, down. Oh, she's not talking to me. Crap. You are now one step closer to throwing yourself into a pit of flames. I lost myself. You must be so proud. Oh crap. Oh, wait, we didn't get the shadow key. I thought we did. And that's the other key. You'll be pleased to know that I am up to temp. Stay at the door. Come I'll on go in. back. Yep, I'm at it. Let's roast. Meet up with your party at the key. dungeon entrance. And we can all put your own tale open. of survival behind us and never speak of it again. Feel free to collect my precious coins. It's not like you'll ever Jeez escape. Jesus, Louise. Hi. This dungeon is cursed. All your structures and traps will burn. Bad luck out there. I'm sorry, this doesn't feel right. Ouch. <clears throat> Welcome to your fiery pit of doom. How do we like that? Good? I may die here, people. The last keys around here somewhere. What a pity. 
The last key has been found. The fiery pit beckons you. Up here? Wait, I just went backwards. Son of a gun. Continue your journey. Let it all burn! No building over my traps. I put them there for a reason. A Leave me alone. Door Can you clear both of us? Yep. I think took forever to teleport. Your group has found oh, I can't get the second the one. Now descend deeper I got it. Into the oh, wait, no, wait, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, keep going. No turning oh, back down. Key will be on you. Okay. I got it, no health, we and I'm dead, go ahead. one of those shield drainers. Let us know what you think. Uh, just door. You should you get the key? Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I'm dead. I, I got roasted. Don't die, don't die anyone. Uh, I'll be able to it. Look for the purple don't, don't die. It's, uh, I can get us res, but it's gonna take a little while to get to the point. Just focus on survival. The last key's around here somewhere. All keys have been found. Descend into the fire. Let's get In solo, you can actually use a death warp here to teleport oh, towards the end. It's kind of interesting. Need to revive a teammate? Try one of our cursed Hold off on the war cry until the, uh, like, the, the tornado starts Need flying Need to in. revive a teammate? Try one of our cursed statues. Okay. Stand alone. War cry right using Warcraft back. first? Okay. Only use a cursed statue to revive well, it would be five minutes. Nice. Pretty good. And here are the rewards that we got from our power level 140 dungeon. We got some schematic XP, adventure tickets, reperk and gold. We also got some more gold and some more tickets. But yeah, if y'all would like us to do more walkthroughs on the other dungeons, then let us know in the comments below. Big shout out to Long Range and Isherwood for helping us out. Hope y'all found it useful, and thanks for watching.